Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, very disturbing information. Heidi's been doing some tremendous research. This is just now breaking, and she's taken the research to another whole level. First of all, have you heard of spirit cooking? Spirit cooking. Well, it's witchcraft. But what is it? What, what are you talking about, Pastor Begley? Well, it's because this is the kind of thing that's being done at the highest levels of our government. And we've got the proof. We're going we're gonna, to uh, break it down for you. John Podesta in the WikiLeaks emails is involved in accepting, uh, his brother has accepted dinner with uh, Maria, Marina Abramovic, okay? Marina Abramovic, and she's in the WikiLeaks emails. Matter of fact, let me go to it right now. The WikiLeaks emails released, here's an, here's an email, it's called Denner. Okay, dinner. Uh, and here's the email. This Marina Abramovic sends an email to Tony Podesta. Tony Podesta is John Podesta's brother. They have a company they call the Podesta Group. And the Podesta Group, they are big time lobbyists, folks. Some of the best lobbyists in all of Washington. I mean, they're huge. And we know that John Podesta even got a job as the chief of staff for the president of the United States working for Barack Obama. It is his emails that have been hacked and have been given to Julian Assange, who has leaked them at WikiLeaks. Now, John Podesta and Tony Podesta, uh, the Podesta Group lobbyists, have been huge. They've been involved in lobbying for Bank of America, for BP, the British Petroleum, for the government of Egypt. Uh, look, they've helped out in campaigns for Ted Kennedy, George McGovern, Michael Dukakis, and Bill Clinton. Uh, they're certainly connected. Matter of fact, Tony Podesta is close to Barack Obama, and he repeatedly is named one of Washington's most powerful lobbyists and fundraisers. All right, here's what the email says. Marina Abramovic sends an email and on June the 28th, 2015. The title is Dinner. Dear Tony, I am looking forward to the spirit cooking dinner at my place. Do you think you'll be able to let me know if your brother is joining? Referring to John Podesta. Uh, Tony goes on to send an email then to John and says, Are you in New York City? Thursday, July the 9th, 2015. Marina wants you to come to dinner. All right. Uh, what kind of dinner? A spirit cooking dinner. Well, what does that mean? Well, on YouTube, there is a video out called Marina Ebenovic Spirit Cooking. Now, this, uh, this, I'll put the links below. I'll put the WikiLeaks link. You can read the emails yourself where John Podesta is being asked by his brother to come to the spirit cooking dinner. Then I'll put the link to the YouTube video that shows you what spirit cooking is. Now, in the video, they're, they're mixing some kind of red stuff in a bucket. It looks like it's blood and guts or blood and something mixed with maybe red dye and water. Who knows? I don't know what all's in this bucket. It is pretty disgusting looking. But I will tell you this, that Marina Abramovic begins painting on the walls um, a recipe for the spirit cooking dinner. Um, it's, it's what it is. It's, it's curses. It's a way to perform a ritual, a witchcraft ritual. And the first frame you'll want to, so you'll want to click and go to this YouTube video. And it was posted, this video was posted on March the 10th, 2009. So it's been out there for seven years. It has, a, at the moment, 123,000 views. I'm sure that's going to go up now. Listen to this. At frame 48 seconds, in the 48 second frame, it shows you what she paints on the wall. She paints mixed fresh breast milk with fresh sperm milk and drink on the earthquake nights. That's what you're supposed to do. 
All right, on the earthquake nights. How do you know it's an earthquake night? We're going to get to that in a minute. Then at the 1 minute and 46 second mark, she has painted on the wall and it shows you with a sharp knife cut deeply into the middle finger of your left hand, eat the pain. So this is a ritual you're to do next, all right? You're to mix fresh breast milk with sperm milk and drink it on the earthquake night. You're to take a sharp knife and cut your deeply into your middle finger of your left hand, eat the pain, all right? Number three, at the two minute 17 second mark, it says sprinkle, take fresh morning urine and sprinkle over the nightmare dreams. Take fresh morning urine and sprinkle over the nightmare dreams. And then at the two minute and 48 second mark, she paints on the wall in what looks like blood Spin around until you lose consciousness. Try to eat all the questions of the day. Now, this is the ritual event. You do these four ritual, these, this, and probably more goes on there. But this is the ritual that you do in what's called spirit cooking. And that's what, she, and it's, this is her in the video, painting this, what looks like, in blood. And then they pour this, what looks like blood and guts or something over a little statue of what looks like maybe the Virgin Mary that they pour over this blood. And they, and they paint the corners. And they do a lot of blood ritual stuff in this room. It's all on this video. You can check it out. It's unbelievable. Satanic witchcraft. And the woman doing it is Marina Abronovic. The woman inviting Tony Podesta and his brother John Podesta to come to her house for a spirit cooking evening. And the night she's chosen is July the 9th, 2015. So Heidi did a little research. What happened on that night? Well, we had an earthquake swarm. You're, remember, you're supposed to uh, drink the fresh breast milk and the fresh sperm milk. Uh, on the earthquake night. Well, that very night, July 9th, there was massive earthquake swarms in Fillmore, California area, including 50 more tremors after that. Uh, the earthquakes were just absolutely swarming uh, that very evening that we're talking about the earthquake nights. All right, you're to do it that night. So that you, I'll put that link below. You can actually read the article from WKTLA Channel 5 confirming that there was an earthquake swarm and 50 tremors continued uh, into the night. I'll put that link below. All right, so that we know that's going on. Also, just so you'll know, who is Marina Abr Abramovic? Who is she? We know she was born to, in 1946 to Yugoslavian parents. But who is she holding a spirit cooking dinner for the Podesta brothers who are so connected to Washington? Well, three days ago, this is amazing, three, just three days ago, there is a, compl a, 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 a complete article by the New York Times. Three days ago, November 1st. They wrote a review of Marina Abramovic's new memoir. Her new book just came out, uh, A Walk Through Walls. Here's the very first three or four paragraphs. Check this out. Marina Abramovic's first major performance art piece was based on an old Russian drinking game. In front of an audience in 1973, she took a series of sharp knives and stabbed each as quickly as she could into the spaces between her fingers. In the game, there is only one knife, and you take a drink for each nick. Blood went everywhere. The crowd, the art crowd, loved it. Mrs. Abramovic knew she'd found her medium. No painting, no object that I could make could ever give me this kind of feeling, she writes in The Walk Through Walls, her new memoir, it was a feeling I knew I would have to seek out again and again and again. This finger-stabbing uh, phase was followed by one that might be described as, 
I take off my clothes and cut myself, sometimes while I'm lying on ice. There was her, I run into the things while naked period of time in her life, and there was a crawl on the floor with snakes era also in her life. She was there early. She, came, she became known as the godmother of performance art. Her pieces combine masculism and spirituality, often to intense effect. They were a form of body horror, to use a phrase that has been applied to films directed by David Cronenberg. Her career was built to an intensely popular 2010 retrospect at the Museum of Modern Art where more than 750,000 people stood in line for a chance to perch across Mrs. M. Abramovic's um, and silently communicate with her as she sat unmoving for all to see for more than 700 hours. Unbelievable stuff, satanic completely. And this is what WikiLeaks has revealed in the John Podesta emails that the very people who are involved in the running of our nation is connected and involved and in bed, if you will, with some of the most strongest witchcraft practicers in the world. Are you serious? It's getting uglier by the minute. And these are the people who want to remain in power these are your new world order, your establishment, your Luciferians who do not want to give up power. And the spiritual rituals that's going to be going on the next few days leading up to this election would blow your mind if you knew. So church, here's what we should be doing. Praying, fasting and praying and calling on the God of heaven to move on behalf of this nation, that we not remain under the spirit of witchcraft, but that through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Here's what I say. You don't need fresh breast milk and fresh sperm milk and the blood of animals splattered on a wall. What we need is the word of God and the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, the greatest sacrifice. We don't need snakes crawling around our heads. We put the snake under our feet, for his head has been bruised at Calvary, even though it bruised the heel of our Savior. The price has already been paid. Rebuke the spirit of witchcraft and call upon the name of Jesus on behalf of this nation. And church, quit fighting with each other. Quit arguing about the election with each other. Get past man's failures. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Understand the spirit of darkness that we're up against here. What's at stake? Millions of more unborn babies. What's at stake? Freedom in this nation. What's at stake? Your rights to worship. Your rights to bear arms. Your rights to freedom of expression. Your rights to serve a living God is on the line. America, your future, your destiny calls you to repent and to pray, and to break every stronghold of the devil. Tonight, we're going to pray. Tomorrow, we're going to pray. Pray. Jesus is coming soon.